Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. The weather has been great on the Palouse. Perfect time for a golf tournament. Nathan Romans takes a look at the Vandal women's golf team. The women's golf team competed in the WSU Cougar Cup last week at the Palouse Ridge Golf Club in Pullman. The team, led by seniors Caitlin Oster and Lilani Kim, finished fifth overall after being in second after two rounds. Coach Lisa Johnson said she was pleased by the way her team played after the first 36 holes. Uh, I was extremely impressed with how we played yesterday, first and second round. Today was frustrating because it seems to be a trend that we've had over the course of the last year and a half of only stringing two solid rounds together out of three. Oster, who started in the second spot for Idaho, shot a 72, 70, 78 in three rounds and finished the team low 220. Oster finished tied for eighth overall. I had a really good three wood on number nine. Uh, from like 220 and actually hit it on the green. I wasn't necessarily trying to do that, but it kind of worked out and I made birdie. I think it was my only birdie of the day, actually. Uh, so that, that was definitely the highlight of the day. This is only the second event of the season so far for Idaho, but Johnson feels this team can continue to play at a high level. Uh, the first event we were a little rusty starting out, but we improved as a team each day. Um, today I was very encouraged because I saw some under par rounds, I saw a lot of birdies. Those are the things that we need to do in order for us to get to the next level. We need to have really strong performances with our top three players and then our four fives come in mid 70s and that will really help us move up in the rankings. Freshman Kendall Gray finished tied for 35th and was a pleasant surprise in her first action as a Vandal. Kendall Gray is our only freshman. She okay. played in her first event and she did great today. She shot 75, 79. Um, I was very encouraged by everything that she did. You'll be hearing from her for years to come. With the Big Sky Championships in April, the team has plenty of time to prepare. And Coach Johnson thinks that this team can be special. Uh, this is the best team we've had in a couple years. It's, it's very fun to watch. It's fun to coach. I believe we'll make a good run at the Big Sky Championship and, and hopefully earn an NCAA regional bid. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Nathan Romans. Hey, thanks, Nathan. What a great piece there. Don't forget, next week we'll take a look at the Vandal men's golf team. Now taking a look at volleyball, the team has opened up conference play and one player who is making an impact thus far is Allie Ford, a player who splits her time in between two sports. Ryan Pavel with the details. It is rare enough for a high school athlete to be good enough to have a chance to play a Division I sport, but two? Allie Ford, a six foot two junior from Woodenville, Washington, was recruited by many schools around the nation, some for basketball, some for volleyball, and some for both. But for Allie, her athletic talents were not only caught by the eye of Idaho's basketball coach, but also the volleyball coach. And Allie, well, she decided on both. I was kind of recruited for both. Like, I had gotten interest from the volleyball team, and I was heavily recruited by the basketball team. So, like, the fact that I could play both was definitely a huge factor in picking this school. Allie is currently a starting outside hitter for the Vandal volleyball team. In the winter, a dominant post player for the women's basketball team. Her college lifestyle is a little different than the average college student, having to juggle her time with practices and games of two sports while keeping up with her schoolwork. You know, it, it, it does get tough sometimes. Um, Time management is a huge thing, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, I love playing both sports. It's kind of what I'm used to, but also having, like, that backup from both your teams. Like, it's kind of like having two families, and it helps you get through it. Allie's father, Brian Ford, a legend for Washington State football, holds the record for tackles in a season for the Cougars, and her brother, Max Ford, is the starting defensive end for the Vandal football team. So it is easy to see her success runs in the family. It means a lot to me. Um, he comes out and he supports all of our games, like you just said. And then after the game, he, I have someone to talk to if I want to vent about how I played or cheer about how we all played. It's just nice to have him around. After redshirting her freshman year for the volleyball team, she quickly rose to being a key player for the Vandals this season. Through the preseason tournaments and the beginning of the Big Sky competition, Ali leads the team in points and kills. We need six people on the court like that, you know, and volleyball is definitely a team sport and um, she's locked into what we're doing. She's a team player and, um, you know, they're all working together. So for her, you know, she's had some great performances. She's had kind of that fire. She wants to compete. She wants to be on the court because, you know, in order to do, you have to be 
successful, you have to be contributing to be on the court. So I think for her, um, this season, it's just going to be a ton of upside. I think she's going to get better with every match. Ali is equally as strong in basketball. As one of the starting five, she helped Idaho win the Western Athletic Conference and earn their second back-to-back -back trip to the NCAA tournament. Ali shot 62% from the field, which was second in the WAC for the 13-14 season. Ali also had the highest rebound average, led the team in blocks, and tallied 9.9 .9 points per game for the Vandals last season. It feels awesome because, like, as a little girl, like, I started playing basketball when I was five years old, and, like, from the time I was in fourth grade, I knew I wanted to play college basketball, and to be here and actually being successful at it, it's like all the hard work that you've put in for so many years, it pays off. <laughs> Allie's main focus right now, winning the Big Sky Championship in volleyball, and with basketball right around the corner, most likely seeking a third straight trip to the NCAA tournament. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Ryan Pavel. Hey, thanks Ryan for the story right there. Allie Ford, obviously a lot of work in between the two sports right there. Now it's time for Campus Connections, where we take a look at what's going on around the Idaho campus. And this past weekend, it was Dad's Weekend at the University of Idaho, Nick D'Amico with the story there. Dads from all over the country hit Moscow this past weekend to celebrate Dad's Weekend with their Vandal sons and daughters. So Dad's Weekend is just a time when all the dads can come down or like a lot of people, if their dads don't come down, they can just like send postcards. We did that this year. Um, but it's just a time when dads can kind of connect with their students a little more, get to learn about what their students are doing in school. and have a fun time on our campus. With events like the Iron Dad Challenge, the Dad's Weekend Golf Tournament, and the Vandal Football Game, dads truly get the full experience. We did the scavenger hunt, and we also came to the breakfast this morning, and we went to the football game, because my daughter's in the marching band, so it's just an awesome experience, you know, it just gives you a lot of pride as a father, you know, just to watch your daughter play, and, pumping up the crowd like that. While many students have the opportunity to spend the weekend with dad, some find other ways to remember and celebrate family. My sister, my mom and I came out here to support my brother who's in the marching band in memory of our dad um, who couldn't be here today. Um, we came to support him as a family. John Madrid lost his father in 2008 but the family sticks together and continues to rally around their son and vandal brother. It was a lot of fun. Um, the band is super interactive and we, my mom was up dancing and it was a great time. We don't get to see each other often because all of our schedules are really crazy. But um, so today is really special to come and spend it here um, in the Kiwi Dome together. Although this is called Dad's Weekend, Idaho makes the event about being a family, a vandal family. Reporting for Inside the Vandals, I'm Nick D'Amico. Go Vandals! <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us, and make sure to join us next week, too. We look back on Texas State. We look ahead to Georgia Southern. We'll also check in with men's golf and the soccer team. Women's soccer opened up conference play. We'll look in on them as well. Again, thanks so much for being with us, and we'll see you at the same time, same place next week.